It's different than the Good morning, everyone out there joining us at Unity Spiritual Center of Vero Beach and our live uh, Sunday lesson. Got some exciting stuff coming up for you later, so grab your hot tea or coffee. I, I keep realizing I keep saying coffee, but not everybody drinks coffee, so I had to add hot tea. And uh, so grab uh, whatever it is that you need so that you can join us and, and really take in everything that's going to be happening in about eight minutes. That wasn't too awful, was it? No, and they don't see you when you first get up, which is, see that cake? I see it. Yeah, so they don't see you. Oh, no, no, actually, it's, it's a green cake. So, yeah, the thing is, they don't see you until the green cake is done. You've got to get your bearings and glide in. Okay, I think I'll do that next time. Then you have to find the cake. Uh, 
our ways. So, all the
morning, Unity Spiritual Center of Vera Beach, and I am so happy to see smiling underneath the mask faces. <laughs> but you know what? I, um, the kids at school, and I just have to mention this, sorry, but I'm going to take a moment. The kids at school, you know, they're wearing masks all the time. And so I was walking through the hallway, and I was just like, man, we need to teach these kids to smile through their eyes, mm -hmm. right? And, and how do you do that? How can you teach someone to smile through their eyes? So uh, I'm just, I'm going to put that out there to everyone is just, you know, behind your mask, smile through your eyes. And you know what? People can tell. Mm -hmm. People can tell what you're doing uh, behind that mask through your eyes. So, all right. So now I'm going to go over there to the piano. Um, oh, but I did want to mention um, every, uh, well, this week I was playing... Uh, before service, um, the monthly uh, Empower Music lineup um, and Empower MA Music Arts, which is at empowerma.com. Um, you can go there and download music. So if you hear something you like on here, sometimes you can find them on iTunes, sometimes you can't. But let's support our New Thought artists. And today um, we featured Eddie Watkins Jr. and Sue Riley um, with uh, three uh, songs. So uh, empowerma.com. Go there um, and let's support our New Thought artists. Okay? All right. Okay, so we're gonna start today with All Good, All Good um, as our lead-in music. So here we go. No welcome song. <laughs> from Unity Spiritual Center of Vero Beach. So happy to have everyone online and also the smiling behind their mask faces that are here present. It's nice to see some familiar faces. It's all of us connecting again at our wonderful community and it's just beautiful. So I'm happy that we have another familiar face as our guest minister today. It's Reverend Scott Sherman. He actually asked me to just call him Scott. So Scott has served in many, many leadership roles, I believe like uh, in 50 years. Um, he's done 
practically everything I think someone could probably do <laughs> within Unity and then some in quite um, big leadership roles. He has served actively in six Unity ministries. He's well known for his united sacred meditation healing work, and it's been presented in over 350 Unity churches. Wow. Scott has not been idle, uh, even in kind of retirement time. He's been writing, publishing spiritual poetry, and so we are very honored to have him come to our services and to be here today as our guest minister. I would describe you as a kind and gentle soul, wonderful man, and he has words of wisdom. So I'm happy to have Scott offer up the um, welcome prayer, and then following that will be Leslie Hatfett, and she will be giving the daily word. And now for Scott. Thanks, Patty. It's delightful, delightful to be here. There are even, there's even a congregation. We're not many, but we're here. That's great. It's good to see you. I was so thrilled to find out that you would all be here today. So, yay. Let's get still for our opening prayer, shall we? Beloved Presence, we open ourselves to thy love, thy caring, the heart of ourselves meet with the heart of spirit. We are so grateful to be here together. We are so grateful for the opportunity to share together in divine love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Leslie? Scott, it is so wonderful to have you here with us. You are such a, you're such a blessing. Thanks, Lee. Um, from the Daily Word, World Peace. Celebrating diversity and affirming unity, I am a presence of peace in the world. The road to world peace begins with my open-hearted acceptance of those who are different than me. Our world is vast and diverse, and its people come from a wide variety of cultures and histories. The more I learn about those whose lives differ from mine, the more I can appreciate their perspectives and empathize with their struggles. When I make the decision to understand others, I discover that judgment fades in the light of compassion. Today, I sow peace through my acceptance and understanding. Peace in the world grows as I join my brothers and sisters in celebrating the glory of human diversity and affirming oneness in God. And from Isaiah 2, 4, Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Together, let us affirm the affirmation today. If you would please repeat after I say each line, celebrating diversity and affirming unity. Together, celebrating, celebrating diversity, diversity and, and affirming, affirming unity. unity. I am a presence of peace in the world. Together, I am a presence of peace in the world. Thank you. All right, everyone, this song is going to lead us uh, into meditation. And that's, I haven't read the Daily Word this morning, and it's, again, how God works never, never ceases to amaze me. Allowing, allowing peace within, 
in absolute surrender so serenity begins for when the storm subsided and calm becomes a way it was all about allowing it to stay It's all about allowing, allowing love to flow, and perhaps setting down your burden and just simply letting go. For as you cease the struggle and love pours through your heart, it was all about allowing it start now feel it warm and shining new with promise strong undying love different than any you have known and now the seed is sown it's all about Than living in the moment like it's all you'll ever know. And though it won't be easy, you can truly say you've tried, for it's all about allowing it inside. It was all about allowing, for it was all about allowing it to That was lovely. I don't think I heard you before in such a wonderful voice. Lovely. Well, let's become still for a time of meditation, shall we? Nice deep breath. Gently close your eyes. And let's allow ourselves to join at a different level of consciousness. One that transcends even this lovely place, that beautiful music, and this very beautiful day. Beloved Presence, we are so, so, so grateful. Your presence your power matches our own power and presence. We find ourselves in touch with love, with life, with laughter. We find ourselves in touch with your spirit, moment by moment.
if there are issues that are concerning us, let's focus on them for just an instant or two and turn them over. Turn them over to the spirit, the energy of God as love. Whatever the need, our willingness to let it go, bless it and let it go, whatever the need, it is fulfilled in ways that even we, with our wonderful imaginations and caring, even we could not have thought Gently, but certainly, we let them go. They're not ours anymore. We acknowledge them, we've in effect, sent them away through the power of loving consciousness. Whatever the need, whatever needs to be fulfilled, it is already being fulfilled. And we are grateful, so grateful. Beloved Presence, now we turn to the satisfaction of knowing that we are blessed, that the activity of your Spirit has touched us and any situation that requires it. We know it is done. Thank you, beloved God, for this time. Thank you for one another and for this small but loving gathering here at Unity. We are so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. And we pray in the name and through the power of the Christ's presence. We do give thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. everybody again. Um, so this song uh, is, that I'm about to sing is also featuring a New Thought artist, um, artists actually, um, that I just found um, uh, recently. So um, this song is called This Is What I Know and uh, I hope you like it. i 
places all of my relations in this one have love in this room and, and noise. That is great. Thank you, Laura. Just wonderful. Well, almost exactly a year ago today, I was to be part of really leading a retreat for our uh, at Kashi Ashram, an ashram near, near here in Sebastian, a retreat for Unity people uh, from south of here down at the Port St. Lucie, and uh, it was the 20th, the 20th, I'm sorry, the 14th of, of March. I was to leave this retreat. It was, it was called Radical Aliveness and Radical Gratitude. And that's what it was. And of course, at that time, it got called off. And here we are again. A year later, beginning, beginning to come back together again. Won't it be nice to shake hands with someone, to meet someone and start to, towards them and, whoa, an extended elbow? <laughs> Won't it be nice when we can hug members of our family who don't happen to live with us? Won't it be nice to be able to put gas in your car without being afraid of touching anything? I, have, I found a Kleenex when I did it. It was unfortunately used, but <laughs> I put it around the gas handle and then it, you don't want to know. Won't it be nice to have a waiter come to your table if you're properly outside and all that and say something to you we you think you hear special. You cannot understand another word that he says. It's because under the mask, you can't hear really what he's talking about. Won't it be nice? And that's what we're looking forward to right now. Well, radical gratitude is something that has been powerful to me. And as I said, I was ready to present a retreat 
a year ago, so now you're, you're, you're in, in for it. <laughs> We're not going to do the, the whole day, though. But it's, it's a amazing and, to me, one of the most powerful concepts in the unity lexicon of ideas. Radical gratitude. Being grateful even for things that you think don't deserve gratitude. Radical. It, it's radical, the ability. Let me read you what the retreat said I was going to do. It says, gratitude is our most simple, powerful attitude. Reverend Scott and his wife Heidi practiced, practiced radical gratitude for over four years during her challenge with ovarian cancer until her, until her death a few months ago. It sustained them both through very difficult times, convincing them that we are indeed spiritual beings, transcending what we call life, and that our essence, our consciousness, our soul has been and ever shall be. Now that's what this is about. This is about a consciousness of oneness with the Spirit of God, a consciousness, though, that gives thanks for everything, even things that you may not believe deserve thanks. But they lead to, very often, something more powerful, something greater, something that you would not have expected. One of the things I promised Heidi during that time was that I was going to produce a book, and uh, we were men mentioned for a bit about my, my poems, and it turned out to be a book. It was going to be a Facebook post that I had done over that four-year period. I posted to our friends, my minister friends and other friends, ab about every week what the situation was on our, can our cancer. And I say our, because it certainly was. And as I posted these things, sort of a flow of what was going on happened. And wrote them up and got them organized, pretty much done before Heidi passed. And then it became time to put them together and put them out for publication. And I realized something else. During that same time that I was posting to friends and Unity ministers and Unity friends all over the country, all over North America, actually. I realized, I realized that, no, there's something else. Something else happened. And during that time, I was writing poetry. Now, my poetry isn't very good, <laughs> but I published it anyway. Um, it, it has lots of heart in it. I think that's all you can say for it. And this is one that I, I wrote called Radical Gratitude. It was a part of the 30 or so that I published in Cancer Together, A Love Story. That, I thought, kept my promise that I was going to do this and uh, published it. And here's the, the one poem that's called Radical Gratitude. We agreed to say yes to every shred of life that cancer introduced. News good, news bad. Just casual observers. We became the eye of cancer's hurricane. We were calm, peaceful, quiet, certain. Were we perfect? No. Not our goal. Did we live, love, enjoy? Yes. Cancer never beat us. Not once. Cancer never beat us. Not once. And I say that with absolute truth. We became the eye of the storm. We gave thanks to 
results from issues. We give thanks for reports that were so-so or not so-so-so. We gave thanks because we had learned that everything that happens to us brings forth an issue, an opportunity for the Spirit of God to be revealed. And I mean everything. 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 So it's a paradox. It's, it's a paradox because you find yourself giving thanks for things that you would cer certainly prefer to avoid. You find yourself giving thanks for things that you don't like, but they're still going to reveal, perhaps not immediately, but soon the Spirit of God is in there, around there and through there. It is there. It's, so it's not easy. It, it isn't easy. But the other thing it produces, and I think is so important, we, what we are doing here in our lives, on this planet, in this time, we're enriching and developing soul power, soul energy, inner energy, inner awareness, inner gifts, that's what we're developing. It comes up to really, I'll say, soul wisdom. Now, I'm getting to be old enough to be wise. But soul wisdom, where we can look at an experience and see it, see through it, see through it. It is such a treat, a, a blessing, to see through something that seems terribly difficult. To see through it and see the image and likeness of the Christ on the other side. Yeah, that, that's what this is about. So it's a paradox, but it produces wisdom. And so what I've come to say is that God is in in it no matter what. Love or God, God is love, is in it no matter what. And that's a good thing to know. It's taken me a lot of years to come to know that. I've had my issues, as have many of you, fighting against this or that, trying to fix that or that. But learning that there is a wisdom in me, in us, in life, in love, that transcends and blesses every situation, not just most of them. I'm insisting on every situation in our life experience is a reflection of the Spirit of God as love, as health, as wholeness, whatever. Every, every situation, no matter what. And I've learned that what I love heals. Whenever I love something, healing is, ta is taking place. Now, it isn't, I'm not saying it's immediately apparent. I'm not saying that you, you've got it when you say, oh, I love this, even though this is not something that I love very much. It doesn't happen that quickly. It isn't about time. It's about depth. It's about depth. It's going on here, in the heart, in the soul. What we love, we heal. Think about that. The power of God is, God is love. But what we love, we heal. We're working with God's power when we're loving. When we're loving, no matter what the situation is, no matter how difficult it might be, even hurtful, 
Through that, when we love, we are putting the activity of God to work. So, soul wisdom. We are growing inwardly. Sometimes we're concerned about growing outwardly. But anyway, <laughs> we're growing inwardly to a deep, deep place where we know the power of love is at work. When we can find in every situation love or the activity of God. How fortunate we are to be loved children, God's kids, if you will. Allowing ourselves to love as our mentor loves. Learning to express that in, in even the most difficult kind of experience. That's what we're learning. That's who we are. So, my message to you today is be grateful radically. Here's a place where you can be radical. You can be radical in gratitude. I'm not going any further with radical, but we can be radical in gratitude. We can be radical about love. We can be radical about the Spirit of God, which is everywhere, in, through, around us. I am sitting here in front of a, a new, wonderful project that has been on the drawing board here at this church, I think, over five years, eight years, <laughs> yeah. Eight years, eight years. Leslie says it, you know, eight. <laughs> eight years, and it's now coming to tuition. To fruition. It is completing. And there'll be little squares in where you can put your name of your loved ones and as you dedicate that, them during this time. Because often they've played a part in creating this. You can bet Heidi's name is going out there. This, this is a beautiful place. It's a pavilion, I guess. There'll be weddings, there'll be music, all sorts of outside activities. And it's brand new, just finishing now. So we can great, be grateful for that as we're grateful for everything in our life experiences. This kind, of, this kind of gratitude is marvelous because it's the fruition of something long thought and long hoped for and is now real. We're giving thanks for. So I'm giving thanks to all of you and all of you out there today. This is a little strange. <laughs> When I go on, and of course I'm on almost every week, I don't miss many services, and I see the numbers piling up. Uh, as we, There are over 900 people that have tuned in to this. All over the world, do you know that? People in England and all, all over. India, someone I think, is, the, is listening and, and watching us. So this is a real, a real blessing to be together and, and sharing this. It's not what I'm used to. I like to have, you know, I had a really large church in Spokane and there were hundreds, hundreds of people like right here. But now the hundreds are invisible, but still present. And I'm grateful for that and for that opportunity. So now it's time for Patty and I to give thanks for this time of sharing together our unity blessing. Patty, come on up.
I'll make space. Thanks. Ready? Mm -hmm. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. We are so grateful. This was Charles Fillmore's blessing originally. This is decades and decades old. This is how he blessed offerings at Unity for about a hundred years. Well, he wasn't quite that old, but, <laughs> but during the hundred years of Unity. So, okay. Here comes Barbara with our announcements. Barbara? Okay, you're up. I, I just need to say something very quickly before Barb will give our lovely announcements. I want to first, in huge loving gratitude, thank you, Scott. My pleasure. Wow, what uh, wonderful words of wisdom, growing our soul wisdom. It's lovely, lovely. So I need to uh, do a little task, which would be because we are in gratitude for the offerings, we need to tell you how you can actually give those offerings so that we can support everything that's going on here. Even though some of you aren't here present with us, just know there's activities going on. There's groups that are meeting safely by Zoom, some in groups that are spread out. So if there's anything that you need or want to be part of, please reach out because there are activities and things going on and we want you to be part of that. And by your loving support, we can continue to grow the gardens that are going to be around the path and, and have so many wonderful things happen inside and outside of this wonderful place. So there are ways to give. You can text the word GIVE to 844-937-1769. That's texting to the word GIVE, G-I-V, 844 937-1769. You can also go to our website, unityofvero.org. And if you scroll down, there's a little button that you can click on, and that will be for donations. So unityofvero.org. You can also mail a check. The address here is 950 43rd Avenue, Vero Beach, Florida, 32960. And of course, we are Unity Spiritual Center of Vero Beach. If you have prayer requests, we would welcome that at our uh, email account, which is unityvero, unityvero at gmail.com. I have found that the easiest way for giving is just to put it into my checking account in the, through the bank somehow, magically. I didn't need to know any account it went to. I just put in that it was going to go to Unity Spiritual Center, and every month it just leaves in my checking and ends up here. So I, I just... Love that you are listening and love that you're part of this community. And I love that you give your support from your heart. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm just so excited that I get to read some of the more thrilling announcements of what's happening here. Reverend Scott began by talking a little bit about the path we are thrilled, I mean really thrilled, to report that our pathway to the Peace Pavilion has now been installed, and that means dreams really do come true. Our brick campaign will start very soon, and you will be able to purchase a brick for yourself and loved ones. We will be telling you how to do that in the coming weeks. Having all the bricks now installed and off the labyrinth also means that our evening first Sunday's labyrinth walks will start the first Sunday of April, which is also Easter Sunday. This is an outside meditation and walking at a distance safely. Also this week, Nancy and Susan Rain have created a beautiful garden just south of our main windows in memory of Phil Rain. You can see the hibiscus tree there peeking through, and if you want to take walk out there and take a look at it, it's, it's very lovely. 
Please come and walk around to see how our beautiful meditation garden is evolving. You will be inspired and filled with hope for our church. This week happening at the church, Monday, the self mastery class resumes after a brief pause last week when Reverend Longo had her successful surgery on her arm. All of our prayers have been and will continue to be with her for a rapid recovery. On Tuesday, the prayer ministry will meet inside using CDC guidelines because the new floor of the pavilion will be installed this week. The time is 10.20 to 11.30. All are welcome. The search committee chaired by Keith Ebel continues to review minister applications. And that's it for today. Thank you. Okay, okay, everyone. Uh, we started with peace, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna end with peace. So if you will sing with me, hum if you're here. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. Hum if you're here. Uh, sing at home uh, the peace song. All right, here we go. Oops, start again. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Blessings. 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 Blessings.